everyone, I am Rohit and welcome you all in the third episode of Learning with Fun using Python on my YouTube channel Era Era. So guys, in this video, we are sending an email using Python script. Sounds really interesting, right? So let's directly jump into our Jupyter notebook. But before starting coding, we have to first understand the process of sending an email using Python programming language. To send emails with Python, we need to manually go through the steps of connecting to an email server, confirming connection, setting a protocol, logging on and sending a message. Fortunately, the built-in SMTP library in Python makes these steps very simple. It's only a function call. Each major email provider has their own SMTP server. The SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Here, I am enlisted some provider and their SMTP server node. We will go over the process with a Gmail account. For Gmail user, we will need to generate an app password instead of our normal Gmail password. And how to generate app password, I will tell you as we proceed with the code. This lets a Gmail know that the Python scripts are attempting to access your account is authorized. So without doing any delay, let's just start a code. First of all, I have to import a SMTP library by writing import SMTP library. After that, I have to create a SMTP object such as SMTP object is equal to SMTP lib dot SMTP and here in braces, I have to give its server domain name such as smtp.gmail.com. For executing this particular sale, I have to press a shift. Name. See over here, the asteroid is get converted into number, so this particular sale is run successfully. In the next step, I just greet the a Gmail server by writing a command such as SMTP object which is my uh, object that I have created and I can use ehlo to curly braces. This particular command or greet my a gmail server and it will give you output such like that. In the next step I have to start the TLS. I just simply write my object name and I just write start TLS and it will give you a output and a, a statement such as ready to start TLS. After that I have to create a password. We can create a password by normal method such as password is equal to input and here I can write enter the password but the problem here is if I write any password such as my name rohit123 you can see over here the password is visible for everyone and we don't want to see our password to everyone because then it is the problem of data breach and so many problems are right so therefore here to hide our user ID credential such as login ID, uh, our uh, login ID or email ID and your password, we use another library called a gatepass. So we can import the particular library by calling it import gatepass. We imported it and I can show you the example how it works. So I can again call it a password, then I can call the particular library such as get pass dot get pass and I have to write a password please and now you can observe the difference the password which I writing over here it is not visible to anyone you can see our get pass library is hide the password which I have written over. So this kind of get pass library we use to hide our email id and password. So for sending an email using python script we did not use 
our normal Gmail password. Instead of we have to create a app password by using a Gmail account or a Google account. So I show you the steps how you can generate that app password. First of all, in Google, you just go and type how to generate an app password. It will also show you the steps. So I can duplicate this tab and we follow the particular command in the in our duplicate tab. So it shows to go to your Google account. So here is my Google account. Select the security. I just click on manage your Google account and then sign in, in Google account. Here my Google account is loaded. Here you can see the security tab. Just click on security and after that you have to followed by two step verification if you are not done with two step verification. I already done with two step verification. So on next step, what is it? Under signing Google select app password you may need to sign in. At bottom choose select app and choose app you select device and choose the device you are using. Okay, so next step. I have to select or I have to click on app password and it will ask me again to sign in. Here you have to log in with your gmail password. I have to enter it. On next step it will ask me to select app and device you want to generate the app password so here i can write uh, other and here i can write a script python and i just click on generate so here you can see my app password is generated successfully so again i can open here and jupyter notebook and just type email or I have to create an email object such as email is equal to getpass dot getpass email after that password is equal to getpass dot getpass password okay and in next I just have to log in by using this email and password so I can call my SMTP object dot login and in curly braces I just pass my two variables such as email and password and I have to run this particular cell I have to press and shift enter so here it will ask me email just write my email so I can again hide it after that I have to press and enter it will ask me password I just go over here copy paste this particular password copy and paste over here and after that press and enter Okay, so I can log in through my email and by using app password and this particular cell is executed successfully and it shows a message such as accepted. And in next step, I have to send an email with a subject and with a message body. For that, I have required uh, some parameter such as from address from which address I have to send an email to address to whom I have to send an email subject and then message word. so first we define a from address here I can use my email only for testing and then in to address also I can use the my email only okay 
after that subject I have to mention input enter the subject line after that I have to write a message in message body such as by creating a message variable and placing an input enter the message with subject subject plus message then to executing this particular cell I have to press and shift enter ok enter the subject line I just write test the message body I just have to write this is the test message thanks Okay, then I have completed till yet and uh, I mention over here from address as well as true address and subject and message body. The next I have to send an email. So therefore I have to use again my object and write a command such as send mail. And in send mail I have to pass a variable such as from address and to address with a message. To auto complete it you can use a tab over here from address to address and then message and to execute this particular cell I have to press and shift enter if it shows this empty curly braces means the mail is sending successfully so we can verify it by logging into our gmail account so guys I have successfully logged into my gmail account and you can see the mail over here the subject is test sending by me that is tamayroi987 at the gmail.com and this is the particular body this is the test message thank you and uh, we again move towards our Jupyter notebook this connection is open till you manually doesn't close it for closing the connection we can use smtp object again and write a quit command over there and to execute this command we have to press and shift and now the closing uh, now it shows the closing connections means the what we connection established earlier it get closed uh, successfully so this is the method how you can send a particular mail using a python script by using a different smtp server domain you can configure your uh, daily email with your python script so yeah this is from my side Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you one and all.